It's a gloomy one out there. Good morning, everybody. Uh, my microphone's dead at the moment, so I'm using the onboard mic. If this sounds like shit, it should sound fine soon enough once I get these batteries charged. Speaking of, let's go pick up some caffeine. Let's get out on this day. It's gonna be a good one. <laughs> I thought this was gonna be a bit more of a low-key day, but it's already been a bunch of shenanigans. I was expecting a couple packages to come in. I knew a couple important ones. So yeah, I knew there was a couple important packages coming in and I sort of, you know, as anybody does when you get packages coming in, you're watching the tracking like a hawk. And it turns out my damn phone was shut off. Thanks, Bell. So even though I made a payment arrangement recently, they just shut me off, so. That is what gives people access to my buzzer, which what lets people into my building. So I check my tracking and there's basically uh, a bunch of, we can't access your building. So get on the goddamn customer service with Bell and that was useless. They didn't help me out at all. They told me to use Skype, which is ridiculous. I'm just gonna wait a little bit here and then I'm just gonna go to the actual physical place and just pay them cash, get my phone turned back on, pick up my other package Hopefully my other package should be left with the concierge by now because I had to deal with Amazon to get them to do that. Uh, we're gonna go pack some orders. And so what went from what a low-key day is turned into a bit of shenanigans. <laughs> Always the way it works, right? Yeah, it's safe to say that rain season is here. Got him. Time for how much needed package time. <clears throat> I think this is one of my most anticipated colorways of the V2s in quite a long time. Um, I mean, I think I say that every single time, but I am very excited to check these ones out. So, let's hop on in. That's a much better sized box after the last delivery of uh, 700s. in there. No, we're back to regular size. We're back to regular size easy boxes. 350, easy boost 350. Colorway on these ones is sesame, sesame, sesame. I've been very excited for these ones. Been looking forward to some earth tone Yeezys for a long time, since probably hinted the uh, green pair that never released. Ah, there we go. Kanye always has a very good choice for colors and they're not always represented very well in photos. So it was kind of hard trying to figure out exactly what color this one was depending off of the photos that we've seen so far. So I'll do my best to get the lighting kind of the same. I think that might be a little too bright there, boy. Like that. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's probably pretty accurate to what it looks like, especially the gum bottom. I was not 100% sure what the gum bottom was gonna look like based off of some photos because some of them you get them when it's super blown out and it's and it's not quite as gummy as it is. And that's a that's a that's a nice gum bottom. Okay, so this is the new one. So yeah, this is the first pair in a long time that actually has a new prime knit pattern on the side where we regularly have the block. Where since the OG pair like this, we've had the block with the 350 inside of it like that. This is more, you can't see it as well, maybe if I pull it to the shadows a bit, but it's on a slant with like a different font that's kind of wavy in its own sense. I wonder when we'll see that finally being stitched in with different colors and stuff. Like on, like this. 
Side note, these ones are hella beat from stomping through blackberry bushes to find my drone. Should probably clean those up soon. Back to these. That's kind of like the only major difference on these is that new prime knit pattern, which I completely dig. Completely monochrome sesame upper, sesame laces, sesame pull tab, white font being used on the insole, gum sole, which we've seen on a couple pairs now. A couple pairs or just one pair? I think we've only, no, we've only seen the gum sole on the Yibros, which I am missing, but are re-releasing next month. So next month, next month, which are re-releasing next month. So I'll, I'm sure I'll cop those then because I need to uh, kind of like the V2s. So these are super sick. It's kind of got like a, a sesame tinted outsole, the casing on the boost itself, regular old boost window. Now there's only one question to find out. <laughs> based off of all the variations of Yeezys that they've had is that everything fits a little bit differently. So let's find out how these fit. Still only one pair of Yeezys that I haven't popped the tag on yet. And that's the coppers. I, I don't know why, but however many pairs I have now, having one pair on ice, I don't know why it's comforting. I went with my size 13, my regular true to size, which is what I've worn in all my V2s, except for I had to get the greens and the coppers in a size 14 and then the 13 in the red i just take out the insole same thing with my bugas but no these feel great what was the last release butters Try these out compared to butters butters have been worn a bunch so they're probably a bit looser but you're a-ok -okay to go with your true to size in this one and no need to take out the insole or anything of that nature at least for myself so get you guys a little proper on feet and some b-roll action so Let's cut to that, right? Meow. Okay, so yeah, these things are sick as fuck. I ridiculously love this colorway and a lot of people are calling this the best Yeezy release of the year. I think I might have to agree with them. What do you think? How does this stack up to the previous colorways? Are you all about that gum bottom life? I definitely am. Did you end up copping a pair now that they're a lot easier? If you enjoyed today's vlog, Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and join the Bigfoot fam if you haven't. I got a whole bunch more stuff coming and I've got a bunch more videos planned. I'm gonna try to squeeze them in over this next little bit, even though I'm crazy busy over the holidays. So I'm gonna try to hammer these out. Apologies if, as if the editing isn't as uh, on point as always, but I'm trying to do my best. I wanna get a bunch of stuff for you guys, uh, for myself, and uh, working towards a bunch of other things. So Cyber Week sale is going on all week with both my companies and if you wanna pick something up, I appreciate you a lot. So I'm really excited where things are right now. I'm super busy working towards a bunch of new stuff for 2019. And I got some other, there's somebody throwing some support right there. So, and I got a bunch of other things that I'm gonna be releasing very soon, some good news and stuff. So stay tuned. I'll see you guys sometime soon and I'll catch you in the next vlog. Peace.